Hi everyone, hello viewers. Uh, welcome to our Let's Play video broadcast thing. It's been a while. I'm still AWAC. I'm still Gamma Dev. And uh, we're going to revisit Killing Time uh, in a belated uh, Halloween episode. Uh, and I'm going to drive this time. Uh, well, now remember you can save anywhere. That was the thing we didn't realize uh, before. That's so... true, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm off the rocky coast of Maine, heading toward the island of Matinicus, alone. Yes, yes, My yes. My Egyptology yes. professor, Dr. Hargrove, was always recounting... We want to let this blather on, or we want to skip it? And his search for a mystical water Previously on Killing Time. <laughs> and the Indiana, Indiana Jones Chronicles as well. <laughs> Claimed he found it once, but whatever Hargrove found mysteriously disappeared after a visit by the expedition's patron. She's still performing. Okay. Yeah. Where Hargrove left on. It has led me to Aristotle. And you go through, she actually has a website of Tesla's stuff that she's done, and she's, she's but mostly stage work. Uh, but, uh, and then, at, like, at the very end of all, like, the, the production stills of the stuff she's been in, there's, like, a still frame from this. I assume she's a local uh, Bay Area actress? No, I, I think, if I remember correctly, she's in New York now. Oh, okay. the night of the summer solstice. I, I, I have a feeling that when they did all this stuff, it was like local talent they could hire or something. Probably at the time, yeah. Like when they're doing Zodnos. I mean, uh -huh. even, like, was she also in Treasure by the Bay by chance? Or? I don't know. My watch has stopped. Foreshadowing. Mm, uh, My watch has stopped. Yes. So is her like. On SFX stereo, so, all right, config, da 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 da. There is no difficulty setting. Actually, there is a difficulty setting, isn't there? Oh, this has joystick. That's right, it had joystick support. I'm not sure if flat stick would help you much. Uh, it might have given you finer control over aiming. <coughs> so, if you internalize score. So, no, apparently, yeah. So, if, what so, you get is what you get. Yeah, so, yeah. so, since our last broadcast, which was God knows how long ago. Uh, some, so, several months ago. Months ago. Yeah. Probably, I'm thinking it was maybe summerish, probably mm -hmm. less. Yeah. Yeah. Some stuff on the 3DO form about uh, stuff. About early magazine articles showing, like, before games were released, 3DO uh, titles. And one was on Killing Time and how excited, uh, was it EGM was looking forward to it? <laughs> yes. And they have some screenshots and somebody's asking, hey, what's with these zombies that don't appear to be in, <laughs> in the final game? You know, I haven't, I, I haven't looked at those pictures. Uh... <laughs> I punch that up? Well, what do we got? Here. Oh. I'm handing you my phone. Uh-huh. Wow. That looks, uh, looking, that looks very hand-drawn-ish. It looks, it looks very hand-drawn-ish. It also looks very prototype-ish. Yeah. Um, wait. That does not look like the background to... No, that's not killing time. That's uh... no, sorry, not killing time. I meant Master Manor. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, no, this is pro this is one of the the um, early prototypes uh, that we put together. Um, and was this? Uh... Yeah, that's another one of Kim Kim's, Kim's uh, little, little. Any of those monsters exist on the the disc? Maybe it's like uh, unused graphics for the I monsters. I don't think so. This, I'm not sure where they would have gotten this picture um well, wherever magazines get their pictures we yeah. had some um, 3do the so the very first thing that we did when we were uh we basically had when we decided to abandon what i had been working on before and started work on uh monster manor we basically had three weeks to ces to summer ces right so we had to have like a level and a monster and the ability to drive around and do stuff right uh and so and, and so we did a hand-drawn monster for right. that but this doesn't look like that one um so i'm not sure i don't know what, if that's from ces or it might be closer to release it might be yeah so i'm not sure where this came from um but obviously it's not Is it possible that, marketing just invented something like did a i suppose did a, it's a bull, possible a bull shot as it were it's like okay here's what we have okay we need to paste something over that and make it look good and i suppose it's possible i mean it, it i mean it's it's certainly low res and blurry enough that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like zombies? What? Zombies. Uh, but um, no, yeah, we did. Did we have a zombie? No, we only. I only. Jeez, I wish Kim were here. She could. She could probably remember most of this. 
because um, she was the poor, poor person who had to sit in front of the 3DO animator over and over and over, just taking still frames of the thing and tweaking and pushing and uh, so. Anyway, but that was uh, Monster Manor, and this is Killing Time. So let's see yes. what we. Uh, what we oh, geez. The much more expensive, much longer production. Yes. Uh, I was invited to join uh, this production. I declined. Your name here. Oh, for, you're kidding. <laughs> okay. User interfaces have gotten better since then. Clear. Yeah. You tried the rub. But it probably doesn't let you go all the way to the beginning. Mm -hmm. so. so, more money, more time. But a little more slower in plotting. So, if Monster Manor was. Star Wars, this would be Phantom Menace, is basically. <laughs> now, there are people who like Phantom Menace and like Jar Jar, but... We call these people insane. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Difficulty, Wait, medium. Yeah, I'm, there we go. Okay, shoulder buttons. All right, so, yeah, we want to see stuff. We don't necessarily want to... Necessarily want to have a challenge here. Hello. Lovely sound design there. Yes, the sound. Yeah, I think Bob Vera worked on that too. So there's a little goodie waiting for us. Oop. Stay away from Tess. She's trouble, real trouble. Duncan will tell you. Except Duncan ain't what he used to be. It's nice that the ghosts have their own uh, musical cues that follow them into the afterlife. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, so not long ago, there was a... Did you pick up the... Pick up what? The green thing? Yeah, I picked up the there's green There's a blue thing. one. Well, there's two. There's a green and a blue. I think maybe there's two of them. Oh, no. The blue... Oh, you mean... The, the blue is what marks where there's a video event. See? Oh. Well, I thought that, never mind. Yeah. I thought there was another orb. But the, the, yeah, that, no, the, the, the blue animated... Um, yeah, I know what those are. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Nikki Robinson apparently helped out a lot with all this. Oh, there's another one. Help me. Help me. Please, gather my spiritual essence from the different symbols which lie around this island. You did a, some interviews with some people from uh, from, from the old days. Old yes, there was a, that there was, was a, about a month ago. There was about a month ago. There was a big party at R.J. Michael's house. And, oh, that's shoot! Not open the door. Which one's open? Over there we go. Yeah. We've only got a few options here. It's not an Xbox pad. You've only got. Hey, Get in there. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to need you down at the dock tonight. We're expecting another shipment of arms. Well, boss, where am I going to put all this stuff? I mean, the storage room is almost full. I can't even walk in there. I guess you'll just have to stash it around the grounds. Well, I don't like it. I mean, booze was one thing, but guns, I, I don't know. Quit worrying, Mike. Our new associates from Chicago will be here this evening to take the guns off the island. They will pay us handsomely for the arms. They have new contacts. We can expand. The guy coming to visit you name, being named Cheney at all. Got this thing out going going in the Middle East. So, okay, so now, how do you... I forget how you... Just like you open the door. All right. Except they, they have... There's a random chance to explode. Yeah. The first one they don't do it to you. Uh-huh. Because that would just be... That would just teach you then to never, ever open a crate. Right. <laughs> so, yes, there was a party about a month ago um, that was... Uh, officially, semi-officially titled as the 3DO Reunion Party. And a whole bunch of ex-3DO people got together and uh, just, you know, had, you know the, said, hey, hey, what you doing nowadays? And, and all for that the of 31st anniversary of the console? Tw line? 21st. 21st, sorry. 21st, more or less. Uh, yeah, 3DO is now old enough to drink. Yeah. Um, and, uh, hey, 5%. That's right. Uh, and so, and so, I actually brought um, most of my uh, podcastery gear, and I got some interviews with some people. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really get any usable video, so there's nothing I can show you. But hopefully, we'll be able to uh, splice some of that in in uh, upcoming episodes. Um, make uh, make something out of make something out of that because some of this stuff, is, some some of them are really good. Especially as I mentioned before, Nikki Robinson, um, who's like been around for pretty much ever. Uh, in game design and, and development. 
click, 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 you're full. Okay, now one of these is your map for the map. Try the stop button. Okay, we're not going to do that. Hey, there we go. Can we zoom out? Yeah. Yes, we can zoom out. Okay, so that's going to be useful. Okay. That's nice. So that'll be. Uh, Maybe we should save. Uh, your, full health, your full health, you know, you're halfway into the maze. Maybe you should save. I'm, I'm not save. halfway through the maze. Yeah, but I'm just saying. So I'm just. All right. All right. Fine, Mr. Weisenheimer. <laughs> so Lord, Lord knows. Uh, <laughs> that's. Uh, what do you like here? Was there any other saved game? We don't know. Just while you're getting used to the controls, you know, you want half your health to go away while you're getting used to. Uh, oh, I hear what, ducks. What fire is what? You know, there's some more ammo. Actually, you're, you're full I, on. You're there full is on now. There's a hole over here that I haven't. Uh, wow. Ah. Don't know what that was, but I've got it. Would be bullets. <laughs> bullets always good. Click, 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 click. Ah. Uh, Evil duck. Just walk over. Oh, that's right. I had to learn that watching you last time. Is you can just walk over them. I thought they were, like, deadly. Hello. Hunter? Sit. Oh, pick it up. Don't pick it up. Pick it up. Right. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you don't want to pick them up when they're red. This one, I think, explodes. Oh, is it consistent from play to play? Probably. You can avoid getting damage if you back away while you're opening it. Oh, hello. He didn't, he didn't turn to face you until the duck alerted him. Right. They're in cahoots. Quiet. Oh, damn. He, he dropped a red ball underneath me. Well, yeah, that's why you don't stop on them. Whoa, what's that? Shotgun. Oh. The hunter dropped that. Oh, now how do I switch? Uh, it's like you hold... You hold um, oh, God, that's right. It's a corded... Both shifts or C in, the, C in the shift button. No, C is... It's like it's a two-button combo. All right. B try, and shift? No. Try the other two buttons. Okay. C and shift. Try A C. A and C. Well, A shoots. Um, Try B and C. Oh wait, C. No, C B and that C. Way. C that way. C that way. Um, this is what the instructions are good for. No, try. It's two buttons together. Uh -huh. oh. Try B and C together. Nope. Yeah. B and C does not do it. I suppose B and A does it. Uh, B. Well. Oh. What was that? B and A. What? Oh, I suppose. Okay, so B is a shifting chord, and then the thing you push is the thing it affects. I don't know. All right. Oh, hello. Was John Loop there? Uh, John, did John work on this? I don't know. Yes, he did. He was one he of the main perps. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. Well, I'm trying to wonder if Killing Time started before... Um, Monster Manor ended. I th actually, I think it. I think I think it started just as Monster Manor ended. Uh, oh. Oh, it's you. Are you in the wall? Who, who else is shooting? What? Hello. Squish the duck. Squish the duck. Mm. Look out behind you. Shut up, shut up. Gimme. Where is it? There it is. Don't park <laughs> over them when you walk on them. That's how you get the red ones. Um, you gotta just keep moving past them. Actually, that's probably very excellent advice. Oh, is this... Uh, have I just found the entrance? 
The walls got yeah. taller. You're in a different part of the maze, yeah. Or you or you went back around. I one of the two. think. No, I'm that's towards, I think that's I'm towards the house, but you didn't find the invitation yet, though, did you? No, I haven't. So yeah, so it's probably whatever, whatever else happened. Tied to the right there, yes. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's just a huge. Well, uh, let's let's just go find the front door. If nothing else. So we can fill in the map. So oh my wide. gosh, it's huge. It's so beautiful. It's red. Yeah. Stay away from it. Uh, yes, the house theme. That was another piece of technology that uh, they developed for this, was to change, uh, change musical themes as you were wandering around completely seamlessly. All right. But we can't get in because... Invitation. Oh, we'll tease you with those new tile sets just so you can see. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this um, art deco-y, uh, just, lo just lovely artwork uh, that they did for this. I remember them watching the art people, um, They, because it turns out, um, so in our building, the dev building, mm -hmm. we had the nicest TV in the lobby where we were, where we would, uh, you know, play 3DO ge games and everything. Uh, and and, and non-3DO games. And, and non-3DO games, <laughs> o <laughs> occasionally, yeah, yeah. from time to time. Um, just to just to see what 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 uh, what uh, the others were up to, and um, so they came in. I remember them coming in. Shush. Um, oh, and they were once at all. I found a piece of Tess. Wasn't one of these a secret door? I uh, uh... don't know offhand. Yeah, there is one around here somewhere. Nope. I'm not. It, and they look like this, but I don't think this is one. No. I bet they have like a crack in them. Yeah. But so anyway, uh, so they came in um, with a videotape of a really old film that was basically this. It was clearly shot. It was all art, modern um, fashion and stuff like that. And it was basically about this. All that I gleaned because they were fast forwarding through it, just looking at pictures. And it was basically a, a raucous 20s style party aboard a Zeppelin that. Um, gets tossed out of control and and somehow nobody dies even though the thing is just like you know pitching and all over the place uh, ow 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 sit down aha your advice proved valuable uh, so, so a lot, so a lot of inspiration, um, or at least some reference, you might say, for this game came from uh, that film, which I could not remember if you threatened. Was my it life. a period film, or it, was it a film from that era? It was a, it was well, it was in black and white. It looked like a low budget film, although given the complexity of the sets, they had to have had some kind of money. Um, but yeah, it, it looked like uh, something that was shot in the. Uh, the 20s or 30s. Maybe now would be a good time to save. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm, fine. Whatever. Well, I like to take a long time. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Oh. Background music changed. Okay. Anything back there? Nope. All right. Nope. Nope. So we're looking for the invitation. I think he's got it. SVP. <laughs> Check that wall. How'd you kill him? What is it? Alright. Nope. Nope. Um, yes, there is, there is one, but I believe it's deeper in back here. Alright. Oh, hello. Damn it. Thank you. 
Actually, that's it. That is the wall there. What, this one? Yeah. That one there? Yeah. I'm not sure I agree, but we'll, we'll check anyway. Ah! <sighs> Dirty bastard. That's why it's the one. Nope. Nope. Sure? Ah, come on. Nope. Oh my pressing, God. What? Are you pressing the actual open door button? What's going on? Oh, yes, I, yes, I'm pushing C, which is what's open doors before. Okay. Uh, check, yeah, like, check your map. Oh. Okay, that's kind of indicative. What, that thing at the top there? Yeah, hang on. Definitely, okay, where am I? Oops, I got this. I don't know. Ah, there we are. Okay, so go like this. Go up here. And then allegedly, behind this. No, huh, no. so I guess, we, I guess we have to get through it some other way. No, I thought you, I, was, I meant the way at the top there. The oh, way up top. at the top. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Da -da 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 -da. So, so up here. Okay, B and C. Nope. nope that's, no, not that one. B I mean, C. well, I would think like that one, one. But, but that's not it. That's not. It. I I know there's one in there. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just can't remember where it is. No, it it has a little it has a little sconce on it. It's uh -huh. little... All right. So anyway, so it's let's... one along came along the way or something. It's like here. It's usually like right at the spot where you like think, oh, I really need some help right about now. Ah, like like that one there. Mm-hmm. To your left here. Yeah, no, we already checked that one. That one? Yeah. Check that one? Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, actually, one of my superpowers is um, keeping pretty good mental maps of stuff. Um, that's one Ooh. of the reasons. That's Ooh. one of the reasons for the longest time, uh, well, um, Wolfenstein, <laughs> um, killing uh, 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 Monster, Monster Manor. Manor. Monster Manor had no map because I didn't need it. And they said, okay, okay, Leo, you're like, you know, sure, you're super amazing, but uh, with your with your map memory, but nobody else has that, and so put in a map, so I did. And I pointed out, like, you know, oh, God, all y'all shut up. soon. You have a shotgun. How about this? No, it's, it's, it has a... It's it's you, it's you a different tile than just a regular. Yeah, whoa. Though. Like, say, let's, like that one, for instance. Check, check. Yep. Not that one. Not that one. All right. Uh, this it's one. It's more special than that. It's more like, special. this is kind of special. Well, right. Although, I don't remember having a fountain. I have, like, Having a different right. decoration. Okay, I'm switching to the shotgun because I want these guys to go down really quick. Assuming they like acknowledge the fact that they're shot. <laughs> Double <kill. laughs> Get out of my way. Thank you. Ah. Nope. Somewhere around here. There. At least I found some ammo. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Ah, yes. Okay. That would be a good spot. Like behind you. Like over here? No. Look, look at the map. Look at the map. Like in the center there. Um. Oh, oh, that hole. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, that would be here. No, but yeah, you know, I, I I remember yeah. it's from the. Yeah, you have to approach from the south. If I remember, I remember it's like it's not. Um, like I said it's a it's a it's a decorated wall sconce. It's mm -hmm. right and. 
And I'm see, now sure here's the weird part because there's yeah this shows there's a wall there, but I'm looking straight through it. So I think it's a one way, well, one way goodie. Quiet. A one way goodie. What are you talking about? It's well I have a thing if I so if I walk through this area here this right. like passage yeah, here yeah, then when I turn around no. there'll be a solid wall behind me. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Oh it's so ghostly. Yeah. Uh, there you go. So wait, but look at the map. I'm saying right. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, that's interesting. Where is it? So, all right. So, oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Not that one. Not that one. All right. So I'm gonna go to a spot, sort of deep in the south, you might say. Because we also haven't found the room that is like nothing but ducks. It's like it's that's right. That's like, that, like, that's way south, as I call it. Um, what's he wearing? Shut up! Shut up! Where's, where's the rest of them? Ah. Took one for the team, did you? Da -da -da. Riveting, huh? All right. Oh, hello. There's another one. Ah. Okay. Nothing there. Getting a decent uh, ammo load out here. Ooh. Ah. That's where I came from. Right. You can tell by the littered bodies around. Okay, so up, around, over. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, right. So back this way. Okay. Nope. I'm going the right way? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So what have you been doing for the last what, five, six months since you've done one of these? I've been I've been working. <laughs> been, you've been working. We've been been working for uh, the man. For the man, uh, <laughs> and and the man's man. Uh, it might also be said. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I've just been like horribly busy uh, this whole time. Um, also, uh, uh, <laughs> I've been in England. Ah. I was in England for about uh, 10 day, 10, 13 days uh, because... Did somehow actually check that, check that one? Did you ever this, check that this one? Yes, I checked this one. Oh, no, yeah. It's, okay. uh, so if we can get, if it'll let us in. Come on, there we go. Nice controls. Oh, it does. Yeah. And somehow you didn't get to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I know? didn't get to see Guardians of the Galaxy, although Leanne got to see Guardians of the Galaxy, my sweetie. Uh, she saw it in England. <laughs> That's some big... Ah. Shut up. You too. Some big theater over there. Um, and uh, meanwhile, I got to see whales, which was beautiful. You mean, wait, you mean the country? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know. You could be talking about animals as well. Yes, we got to... Um, we got to stay at a little place called Port Mirian. Did you check that file? I'm, deal with I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with the. Uh, yeah, it's not like they're going to navigate to you. Shift. Sit down. Ah. All y'all. Jeez, there's a lot of gunshots going on. Whatever it is, I think there it is. That's, All right. I don't think that's. That's it. not it either. No, I think. I mean, I don't think that was. Is that the original one? Where are we? Oh. Or did you go a few? So yeah, it's no, it's further. It's way far to the to the east there. 
uh, if I'm remembering correctly. I just don't know whether it's Northern. further up or further down. So let's start over one. here. Let's start hitting sort of quasi north. Uh, hello. There we go. Oh, jeez. How many of you are there? How many of you need to be out here? That's. That might be it. Yeah. Try that. Yeah, see. Aha! Oh, dual wield! Yes. Ah, see? It was worth the wait, wasn't it? Um, two pistols. Two pistols. Two. And this leads to the sewers. Yeah. It's the secret back entrance into the. Yes, the one that you take if you can't find the invite. Which this is way hard to find the invites. So I don't know what the why yeah. that would be a thing. But uh. like, well, now do you want to save? Yeah. I think it opened from the wrong direction. Uh, so do we want to go in this way or do we want to sure, go in the front not? door? All right. Let's, it's let's kind see, of disgusting. Let's see, let's see the direct before we see the, the lovely art deco. It's like, ah. Going in the servant's way. Oh, wait, is this the... Uh, these, are, these are the turd monsters or something. I think they're supposed to be like... Um, dung beetles, I think is the whole thing. Ah, uh, okay. Because, you know, you're infested with the stuff from... Oh, and you've got ammo for the flamethrower, too. Well, you have to get the flamethrower. Yeah. yeah. You might want to... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe kill something? I don't know. And if I remember correctly, you can't kill them when they're rolled up. They're indestructible. It sounds like I can knock me on one of them. Well, that's again fire yeah. you when they're rolled up. Yeah, so. Is this thing actually going to follow me upstairs? Whoa! Okay, that's vaguely impressive. <laughs> If they follow you through the if shots, follow you through the map. Yeah. Is there anything else? Okay, single, dual, shotgun. You might have to actually aim at them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of ammo there. I want to get out of that narrow hallway because they're always going to hit you in that hallway. It's not wide enough for you to dodge. Yeah, in there's that an hallway. awful lot of them in there. I mean, yes, but they can't hit you when they're rolled up. Transform! Just walk past them. I just want to make a run for it, dude. Look at this. God, there's a lot of these. Yeah. I, would, I would just make a run for it. Yeah, a run for it into what? Um, away from the door towards the other end. <laughs> oh, you can't shoot him with a roll, though. Maybe. I mean, I assume there's an end to this, right? Like a wall. Oh yeah, there is another side. But okay, so <laughs> why are you trying to kill him? Because I'm gonna just follow your ass. Okay. I'm, well, you, I don't well, you they, had me save, so I don't think they have. I don't think they pathfind very well. Certainly not very fast. They're not gonna follow you. I don't think. I think you can move faster than they can. So. Well, clearly, but I can move faster than their shots as well. Um. Okay, so we've seen that. It's just basically dark and kind of. Muddy. I assume it comes up to like the kitchen or something. Yeah, or? I, I believe it does. Yeah, so this goes. It goes through the wine cellar and then comes up through the kitchen or something like that. Ha ha ha! Who would have guessed? Do we get to 
keep that map. All right. So you saw whales. See any royalty or so, anything? Or? So, uh, no, I didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't do any of the tour. The only majorly touristy thing we did was um, the London Eye. Okay. Which is the giant thirty-story Ferris wheel. Hmm. Er? Oh, I see. Made famous by one of those. Uh... Fantastic Four movies, right? Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. hey, there's another one. Um, actually, we it's did uh, visit. Oh, clipping room. Yeah. We did. Vi uh, we did visit um, Greenwich, uh, um, uh, the Greenwich Observatory, uh, stride astride the Prime Meridian. You know, one foot in the Western Hemisphere, one foot in the Eastern Hemisphere. Really? Is that really? Z zero degrees longitude runs through. Greenwich, England. Yeah, but is everything really east of that considered the Eastern Hemisphere? Uh, yeah, I think that's I how it's. Thought, I think I that's how thought, it's defined. Yeah. I mean, there's the West, the political West, which includes pretty much all of Europe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> At least that's how I was taught in like you know grade schools. And, yeah, everything west of here. Shut up. Okay. Who wants to show you wasting ammo on ducks? Just walk over them. Da -da -da -da. Gimme. Thank you. Okay, so it's another opportunity for another opportunity for Squish. I don't think I'll ever get sick of that. Uh alright. So down to the southeast there, I think is your giant uh no, that's no that's uh, the way to the back door. So if I go straight south, I think I might find your um Giant room O. Um, yeah, that's right. It's a booby trap room. Oh, Check hi that. there. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, but your giant room of ducks is around here somewhere. Or maybe not. Is that the end of this? Uh, oh, that's the end of that. Huh, so where's the giant Rumo Ducks? Well, it says you covered it 100%, so. What? Yes. What? No, I haven't. Yeah. Well, where's the giant Rumo Ducks? Where is it? Maybe it's in a different it's section. A different section of the maze, I don't uh, know. Okay. Somewhere with Jack Nicholson, I don't know. <laughs> Hair of the dog that bit me. <laughs> Seriously, would you would you just decide to go stay in a hotel with Jack Nicholson and that star of that movie? I mean, it's like, <laughs> well, this is a great idea. Let's be alone with this guy for the whole winter. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I think I'll go check out that axe collection. <laughs> <laughs> that means he never exhibited unstable behavior before. Big red ones that we ignore. Yep. And now we're and now the music has changed, so we're gonna back in that section. All right. Ah. Okay. Up there, I think is the one that you were interested in. Ah. Uh, yes. Ignite the boxes. Oh. I wonder if, if you shoot them, if they go off anyway. Uh, yeah, that's that would be. I would suspect that. Yeah, if you hit them with the sharp. Uh, damn. Yeah, that loses its charm. Well, I don't think quick. that's actually the room with the ducks. I think there's one that. No, there's a, no. This is not the room with the ducks. But this ducks, but. is the secret door that you were talking about. Mm. That was fun. 
So it's got some. Well, I uh, thought there was one. So it's the second one. The one I know about the one that gave you the second pistol. So that was... ah, okay. So we keep yeah. finding secrets. A secret, a secret. Yeah, I'm one of those hundred percenters. <laughs> so he's gonna. So achievements were just an absolute hell for you when they introduced them, didn't? They? Oh <laughs> yeah, as well. I mean, it's it's sort of got gratuitous after a certain point, and I said like, you know, I'm 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 full. <laughs> Just gonna try and get to the end as quickly as possible, because <laughs> there's yeah, because I mean, because I could easily I, I have that obsessive compulsive thing where I have to see everything. I was the type of person who had to get a hundred percent of everything in Doom, yeah. and, uh, and but see, there's that's there's that, 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 that handy thing, you know, those achievements uh, they tell you. I'm yeah, sure they, like, well, I bet some the Lego those... games are fun for you. Or so, <laughs> oh man, uh, no, some of them. A billion studs. Yeah, I love that one. It's like, collect a billion studs. It's like, why? What? All right, what have you got to say for yourself now? Welcome to the Conway Estate. Oh, this guy. I've seen him before and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I think he always plays a butler, but it's like, <laughs> you know, it's a, I guess that's a niche to have. And... So, yeah, so in this foyer are like four animation things on the sides oh wait can you yes I forgot you could look up and down and all around should you require a meal the dining room is located in the east wing however I wouldn't recommend a tour of the kitchen the chefs there are quite temperamental <laughs> temperamental yes why didn't you just get a Queasy ha ha. Yes, yes. Look for the uh, glowy, floaty things. Hey, there's one. First look up, and then look down. Never play with the naughty clown. Hey, Resident Evil, the movie ripped off... Uh, <laughs> Everything. Little girl Alice. Or, <laughs> yeah. There's another one coming up. Your suite is upstairs in the west wing. I'll have the maid make up your room. Smart machine there too. <laughs> Another one off in the corner here. Yep. I think every time you hear Lego. Yes, that's. If you like to smoke, we must insist that you use the lounge in the west wing. But whatever you do, don't go traipsing around downstairs with a lit cigarette, or Mr. DeVries will have hysterics. Yes, we're very concerned about Mr. De DeVries' hysterics. This is as far as we could drag it, sir. It wouldn't fit through any of the upstairs doors. But Byron said it would fit. It's, it's only three feet wide. I believe he said three cubits wide, sir. Oh, for sure. A cubit is roughly the length of your forearm. Fine. Don't you just right here? Yeah. Very well. I'll summon Miss Conway. Oh, that won't be necessary, Robert. I, uh, I want to surprise her. She specifically Ooh. wanted to be present when the crate was open. I thought I made myself clear. You are not the master of this house yet. But that'll change. Huh? Okay. But seriously, they couldn't fit that through a door. Come on, <laughs> yeah, three it's, feet. It's a, it's a mansion. So yeah, so I'm a, it's a big ass, yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah. So there is the doll. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So what do you what do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you like? Oh, I don't know. But it's like the music room, like off to one of these, with uh, what's her name singing. Oh, um, I believe that's off to the east. Um, <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> The purple uh, room is that called? <laughs> the, yes, the lounge or something. Where is it? That's it. That's the way. Uh, but we have floating heads in here. I am going the right way, right? Yes. Okay. Alright, so now I don't remember which is the best way to get that way. 
So if you go if you go this way, I think you end up at the kitchens, which is not what we want. Aren't these are the clowns. Uh, no. These are the uh, floating screaming heads. If I remember correctly. There they are. This is one of... I distinctly remember um, uh, Kim being responsible for the design of these. perimeter. Alright, so now we can think about... Ah! Shoot! Where are you? Indoors. Hello. <laughs> Mr. DeVries will have a f have conniption fit. Oh, for Pete's sake! Are they guarding something? Yeah, they're guarding something in the middle, I believe. I don't know. 33, shotgun 28. Pick up some health, some shotgun. Ten, six, I'm about to lose it. Excuse me while I step outside. Yeah. Five. What the hell? Oh. There's some health okay, so there yeah, there, I think there's still some left over in the uh, hallways here. Hello? Fair chance. Alright, so while I was out, did anyone creep out into the hallway? Oh, there we are. Look out, it's behind you. Shotgun might have a little bit less range. Hmm. Like that's, most that's certainly possible. There we go. Man. Okay, he's gone. Anybody else? Okay. Oh, hello there. That's a big health thing. It's also a, a, a Tess urn. Yeah. Do you have to destroy the Tess urn? No, I think you have to go to these corners and unlock stuff. Okay, relax with the damn music. 
push the buttons through the doors. Wow. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. All four of them are closed. Right, whoops. So, that's weird. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I have no idea what it meant. Oh, yeah, oh I turned one on uh, one of the scarabs. Yeah. All right. Can we do that over here? Something tells me. So the test ah. is now. Exposed along with the health, so right. So I assume that means somebody's going to immediately come out attacking if you grab that. <laughs> Saying I would, because you know I'm right okay. bastard about that. <laughs> so wait, I picked it up, but I didn't get a new light to turn on in the. In yeah, the... Uh, we'll unlock all of them. Later. Nope. Oh, well, this is actually open now. Still closed. No, that's open now. Alright, so I'm guessing it's a some sort of bug that uh not necessarily. There's like one open the other opens the other or something? That well that would be my presumption, but that doesn't appear to be what's happening. So closed. Back to the other end. Okay, that one's still open. That's still on, but this is still closed. So, I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Kim, what'd you do? I actually I don't know who did this did the who I don't know who did the puzzle design on these. I would blame John. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's blame Josh. Sure. He's out here. <laughs> He's <down> here. <laughs> he wasn't at the party either. So I was a little, uh, I was a little disappointed. There was a whole bunch, and Kim couldn't make it because she couldn't. Uh, she's currently living in Colorado, and she couldn't uh, fly in. Mm. Staying at the Overlook. <laughs> <laughs> well, now. All right. So let's see if we can get away from this music. Dining room, or the <laughs> kitchen, or something. Uh, hmm. Oh, so apparently that means you need a thing in order to open that door. Okay, we'll go with that. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, there's the dining room. Okay, everybody talk normal. It's like rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> now uh -oh. we got the clowns. That sounds like the clowns. <laughs> Hello, I'm from France. Come to scare the hell out of you. Tickle, tickle. Oh, poor Tim Curry. He never gets a good roll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they all float down here. A... <laughs> never seen it? No, I have not. Or read the book? Or I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a Stephen King kind of guy. Squeak, squeak. Music. 
You're about to get murdered. That's a nice, that's a little blood turns into little balloons when they die and pops, kind of. I don't want to express up. my anger! Who's left? Oh, it's right up there. Face me! I'm still hearing them. Doesn't mean there's more of them. Oh, hello. I don't think haven't, it doesn't do auto aim up. Uh, probably not. Jeez. Oh, still here one. Well, there's a large room up there, so. They're guarding the, uh, the urn. Probably the thing you need to get into the dining hall. Still not seeing um, new urns showing up on my uh, my my control thing there. Maybe that's the bug that uh, that one of the releases had. It might be. Uh, you can cycle those things to turn on and off though. So maybe if you maybe they just don't refresh properly. Like turn them off. Turn them on. Oh. Um, you did it with one of your button. Oh, that's right. Before. It was um. It was the sh yeah, it was oh, it's it's busy showing me something. There we go. No, no. no. Oh well. Oh, you're not getting in here without taking damage. Ha ah. I see. Oh. <laughs> Let's get real close up there. Ah, there's more pork on this. What else have we got? Are those clouds? Because I'm afraid of clouds. <laughs> what? No, not the clowns. <laughs> not the clown suit. Not the clown suit. <laughs> that. Some, ah! <laughs> some clowns were never funny. <laughs> okay, so we clean. If we clean this hallway out. Yes, but at what cost? Nothing, because... Mm -hmm. Whoop! The door shut. And then oh, everything turns red. red. Oh. So it's Am I in the same room? I've been teleported! That's a little bit of a dick room. Okay, that's All right. nice. <laughs> oh, it's like a puzzle. Like, did somebody play Zork 2 growing up? <laughs> 
or or indeed any D and D game. Or... Well, that, that one's famous for having a non-orthogonal maze kind of thing, where it's like, ah, it's like you go west and you go east, and then it's like, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not in the same place. And, and all the the passages were identified the same way, so you like drop it, crap in the room, and then, and even then, it was sort of like there was some teleporting going on. So it's basically an impossible puzzle to map with, with paper, even if you were used, even if you were used to mapping in Pokemon games. Uh, well, well, at, you know, the Adventure of the Colossal Cave predates predates Zork. Yeah, I know. But uh, but it's, I've uh, done. I, some people actually succeeded in uh, mapping that cave. Oh, that cave's not difficult. I mean, the one in Zork is specifically made so you can't map it. It's impossible. Really? You have to you have to get your get out of it another way. You can't just map your way out of it. Huh. Which yep. pissed off a lot of people when they were playing it when they found that. It's like, well, I'm used to mapping this stuff. Here, I've got my handy graph paper. I will, mm -hmm. I will thing. I will drop stuff in the maze so I can figure out which way to go and all stuff. And then it's like, no, that didn't work. It's like, wow. I wasn't aware of that. Because uh, games of that type never didn't appeal to me that much. Um, never didn't appeal to you that much? It's, it, they, they, they didn't really appeal to me that much because they used, like, you know, tortured adventure game logic. Oh, hello. Uh, like you had to use exactly the right verb to you know, get the th get the, th the thing to happen. Uh, There's too many. Wow, Clown Central. So it's just like okay, push, shove, move, slide, uh, motivate. <laughs> That's why people liked Infocom. So Parser was much better than most. At figuring out what you want. Oh, because they had a better uh, a thesaurus. Well, no, I mean it wasn't just like you know noun verb. They actually could do full sentences, and they were pretty good. They had a better vocabulary. They had, a, and they also just you, you could do more natural sentences. So like you know, like mm -hmm. Floyd, go into the room and fetch the yellow key for me. You know, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I don't think that ever worked for me. You were playing the wrong games. You were playing fucking Scott Adams Adventures or something <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> oh, that's true. Go rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am now rocking. I don't know if it was always fun if you always, like, you know, tried stuff. You know, they, they, were, they were always very good at... They were, they were almost like Mystery Science Theater before. It was Mystery Science Theater in the sense of figuring out, like, what people were going to in, say and then just kind of, like... Messing with you, or it's like you know, if you just if you just type something like jump, as you go, we, you're not ready to go to the second grade. Are you happy? Like, <laughs> or if you type eat me, it's a you know, auto cannibalism is not the answer to your problems right now. <laughs> uh, you again. again? What the hell? Must be an NRA convention. Sit. <laughs> Two-headed dog. Two-headed poodle. Oh. It's like, you know, That's Cerber even worse. Cerberus's wimpy cousin, I guess, or something. <laughs> I think, I think uh, the best one was, like, Planetfall, where it's like, it has a kind of a very slow beginning, where you're just kind of going through this abandoned, you know, alien civilization, and you're not finding, you're just like, room after room, nothing. And then you're kind of really, really stuck, and then there's some point where it's like, you, you're, just, you're just like, like, where the heck is everything? I don't know. You're just getting really desperate. You're looking absolutely under. It's like, look under table. It's like, oh, hey, there's a green key card under here. Or med kits. Three days supply of water. Energy back. No, I'm just joking. There's nothing but dust under there. It's, it's like, you bastard. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you're uh, getting killed. There's... No, I was heading up the stairs. Apparently, the uh, multi level um, stuff in this game was uh, a little tricky to accomplish. Oh, yeah. I mean, Doom doesn't really do 3D, so... No, it doesn't. It's, it, it, although it sure makes it look like it does, yeah. but it's actually 2D with a height map over the over the polygons. Oh, hello. Well, well, they're not even polygons. Well, the polygonal floor. There's, there's no polygons, I think. It's all edges. So it's just... Thank you. What? 
something behind me? Oops. All right. Nice. Reset. Right, there For some reason, we go. I think it looks like the Lucas Arts logo or something. When I see it, like yeah. their later logo, you know, the little bright, shiny guy, like the guy holding the little thing over his head, or whatever that they endlessly parody. Oh, the, the oh right, yeah. So look, it, the, the, it's been a lightsaber and uh, trapeze and all kinds of things. What the hell? The dogs. There's many, there's many of them in the room. I don't know what they're. <laughs> Your fault. Because I did, I did notice that they tend to disappear when you attack them. They leap at you, attack you, and then disappear. All right, all right. Open sesame. Give. Touching that cat. <laughs> eyeing the reset button there. On the... All right, where are we? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, hmm. It was kind of turned upside down. So, did you ever listen to uh, something wicked this way comes? I saw the movie. No, no. no. Uh... Oh, you're dead. <laughs> well, that's actually... And you're dead that's, now. That's actually pretty good timing. So we're about, dead now. Don't spoil about an hour into, <laughs> About an hour into this. Oh, well. Just on killing time. Amazing. Just on killing time, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so... If, um, Not the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Something wicked. Something... No, I have not... No, I've not heard that. Uh, I presume this is something... I'm I'm remarkably uh, media ignorant. Hmm. No, no, I was talking about okay. Yeah, I thought I mentioned this to you last time. Okay, maybe I did. So after the so okay, rewind. Mm -hmm. um, while you've been busy and traipsing about uh, yeah. Europe or whatever, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, as you know, that was oh man, Wales is beautiful. We've, we uh, visited a little village, a little, a little village, and it's just going to name drop Port Mirian here. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is really, which is really gorgeous. Um, uh, Port Mirian is where they shot the television series The Prisoner back oh, in okay. the 1960s. And uh, so, yeah, that was, you know, traipsing around there was uh, was pretty good. Those of you who don't know who the prisoner is, it's, <laughs> go look it up. Yeah, it's it's Patrick time. McGowan from the late 1960s. Uh, after he did a whole bunch of spy TV series, uh, it says like, so what happens after? What happens to spies after they retire or resign? Uh, and the prisoner explores some possibilities there. What an impressive government taking away your freedoms? Oh, that could never happen. <laughs> That's a whiff, <laughs> wild idea for the 70s. <laughs> Yes. Omnipresent surveillance? Oh yeah, my gosh. It's in, only Disneyland does that. Right. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> it's not mock. <laughs> no, I was, I, was, I was referring to the, the podcast. Mm -hmm. I I, so you know, you, you listen to the Real Genius one, right? Occasionally, yeah. Uh, the ones you, yes, the one that you did. Yeah. yeah. So we did one for Something Wicked This Way Comes for, for Halloween. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yes. So, see, while while you've been busy, I've been I've been moonlighting on other podcasts. <laughs> I know you've been you've been doing a lot of uh, of some splendid work. I've I haven't I haven't listened to all of them, but the ones I have are are pretty great. Uh, I was espe I especially enjoyed um, the real genius thing because of your Caltech connection. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was fun because yeah. he'd already covered. Oh, so this is Doug McCoy and the McCoy cast is on the Throwback Network, which is like a collection of retro stuff. Mm -hmm. and, Oddly enough, I do nothing with games on that. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of retro game podcasts, and I have not contributed to any of them yet. Hmm. Um, eh, who knows in the future? Ha, ha, ha. ColecoVision? Oh, I got some words for you. <laughs> in television? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yes. But he, Doug does like 80s anthology, so I've been doing mainly his amazing stories one because uh, yeah, right. the guy he originally had. 
dropped out doing mm. amazing stories. Although I, I just did one for what was it? Alfred, an Alfred Hitchcock presents episode just because I <laughs> I got a little tired of the amazing stories and the last one we covered we got we got into a bit of an argument over it. not not a heated one or a mean one because mm-hmm. Doug's not mean but I, I I rewatching an episode I realized wow there's some real problems with this episode and how they treat the African American character oh boy because we we'd often there's a trope I don't know if you've probably heard this trope before um, in TV and in movies called this is the name of the trope folks don't don't send me hate mail the magical Negro. Oh. An example of this would be Guinan on Star Trek. Which, uh, in other words, right. they're a character that solely exists to impart their wisdom or help out the main white character, and they serve no other function. You don't know anything about them. And basically, once they've served their function, they, they disappear the from the final, story. Final Destination movies? Or, I don't know. No, yeah. it's pretty but, um, Okay. but... Like Uncle, no, no, Reem, no, Uncle from, Remus but... would be like, the most egregious example. Okay, yeah. No, or, I'm, I'm or, familiar or even with... like Mammy from... Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with the trope. Gone with the Wind. Yeah, so it was like... And so we were covering an episode, and I and I said, I thought this was the most unusual thing I'd ever seen. Where it's like they actually somehow managed to make the main character the magical Negro, because huh. <laughs> and this is really it's supposed to be this meant very heartwarming episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and I was shocked when I rewatched it. It's like, oh my god, this is a textbook. I would even use this in a class in film school. Like, you want the best worst slash worst example of the magical Negro it's this one because they managed to do something I thought was impossible take the main character and turn him into the magical Negro oh dear because you learn nothing about this character he exists solely and right down to the trope he exists solely to help the white character uh huh in the episode and (laughs) the second he does he dies it's (laughs) it's like don't need you anymore (laughs) just throw you out (laughs) oh But yeah, so so I said, okay, enough of Amazing Story. We got to do, we had to do something besides this because Mm -hmm. because I said it's like, come on, the other guy who's been doing like Tales from the Dark Side or something, he gets to talk about whether a teddy bear can wield a knife (laughs) because he has no opposable thumbs or something. Mm -hmm. It's like because Tale from the Dark Side, you know, that's the kind of weird low budget stuff they did on that show. Yeah. So we did an Alfred Hitchcock episode. Ah, here's the Magic Chefs. Uh, Yeah, that's in self demo mode. Didn't they get? Uh, what's his name? Was it Tom Savini to do the makeup for these guys? Or something? I, somebody, somebody fairly famous. They got to do the makeup effects in this. I don't know. The shoots. I do remember. I do remember seeing production videos of they built basic. They had a um, an exercise treadmill, right? Uh, and then they like co- painted it green, and then he just put a big green screen behind it, and that's how they got people walking walk toward cycles, you. Yeah, yeah. They got that's how they got the walk cycles. Um, <laughs> uh yes i love these things but yeah so we've been doing this podcast and we, we did some random episodes like one start with real genius which yeah mm-hmm. we had a lot of fun talk he'd actually covered it on another podcast uh show that they had before with another group of people and i said hey if you want to cover it i'd love to cover it because i have one aspect i know you haven't covered which is i actually went to school at caltech and <laughs> Guess what? They didn't make up a lot of this movie. A lot of it is real life <laughs> incidents. <laughs> moles and trolls, moles and trolls, work, 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 and, work, work. Well, the reason, and then the other reason I thought of it today was uh, this. This like is like an ice pick in my heart. Mm-hmm. Happy Madison Productions. You familiar with who those guys are? I am not. It's Adam Sandler's production company. Oh Lord. He has somehow acquired the rights to Real Genius. Oh, and that's right. I think I heard. This. Is going to turn it into a, a TV series. series. But they're going to have it in, like, after college when Chris Knight has gone into the workforce and all his wacky adventures. And, like, gee, doesn't this sound a lot like the Big Bang Theory? Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, is set at actual Caltech, not mythical yes. Pacific Tech, but, yeah. which is really just Caltech. But, they, you know, they name drop Caltech all the time. And I think they mm-hmm. have a, a tech person as a consultant on that show as well. Mm-hmm. They actually get sometimes real NASA people playing themselves to show up on that, yeah. that show, which is kind of amusing. Um, but... Yeah, so they're obviously trying to make a, a Big Bang ripoff because that's like the number one show on TV is Big Bang Theory. Yeah. And so Adam Sandler, production company, is, is taking Real Genius, a movie I love and a lot of people love, and yeah. is, is a brilliant piece of work that did not need a sequel, a remake, or anything else in the world. That's right. And they're going to, ah, turn it into... It's like, it would be like if they made a TV series out of Spinal Tap. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like no, that is not a, that is not a, a three camera sitcom that you you know. No, it that's isn't. just there's a certain brilliant things you just don't touch, remake, mess with. Just leave them alone. Just take take them away. Don't don't don't, don't even look at them. You mm. just, uh, no, I agree. Uh, that was a, a wonderful film that does not need Adam Sandler messing with it. Yeah, I mean. This is why people love Val Kilmer. I mean, <laughs> before he got strange and, and stuff. <laughs> Anything kind of post Batman. Batman. Yeah, yeah. post Batman <laughs> is just kind of like weird, you know, the Saint and all that weird weirdness. I did not see the Saint. Yeah. So I know some people like that, but it was like it just seemed like one giant slide down after that. Mm. Uh, I mean, because yeah, it was like this is. This is the guy from Top Secret. This is the guy from Real Genius. This is the guy from uh, Willow, you know? He's mm-hmm. Mad Mardigan, come on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so. Sad things. Real Genius. Mm. Do you want to make some uh, some fanboys cry? And, uh-huh. and, and rip that... Uh, packaging off your, well, your sealed th- copy of d th- that's uh, <laughs> that's that's actually some so that's another aspect of the uh, the party is that some people brought some old titles because as as you once pointed out um uh 3do was like scooping stuff in into into the dumpster for unknown reasons yeah <laughs> yeah and uh and so people were fishing them back out of the dumpster so we've got like sealed copies of and so they brought them to the party. So it's like, you know, take whatever you want. And so there were sealed copies of um, uh, Killing Time, um, Blade Force, uh, Far- Starfighter, and the Japanese version of D. Um, there was, I did not pick, there was a copy, but I did not pick it up of um, Snow Job. Huh. <laughs> you should have. That's actually the one. That, of those, with the exception maybe of D, Snow Job. Actually, that's right. Snow Job is the most valuable of those. What? Yes, it's very valuable, especially if it's a box copy. Absolutely, it's very valuable. Why is it valuable? It was. It's got an lar- oversized box for some bizarre reason. I well, remember. yeah, it has a long box, but but it's like no, it's like it's it's larger, I think, even than a regular long. Or it's, it's thicker than a regular long box for some bizarre reason. I don't know why that is, but huh. it wasn't it wasn't quite Zadnos, but I remember it being because I have I have a copy and I know because I looked it up once and it goes for like seventy bucks. Last time I looked, it goes for seventy bucks. So huh. It goes, probably goes for more now especially if it's complete in box and sealed if it's sealed yeah they can. Huh. but uh yeah because it's a late title it's by studio 3do it's actually semi-decent um really you wouldn't yeah. know you wouldn't know looking at the cover yeah well and it's, it's tracy scoggins in a vinyl dress or whatever the heck exactly that's to be. right it's that's <laughs> why that's one of the reasons why i didn't tell you because i just felt sorry for tracy scoggins because it's just such a yeah well <laughs> i mean in terms of U.S. releases, yeah, that's probably one that. Well, I mean, except for some of the really, really obscure ones like, um, is it Lost Eden or Dino Dragon, Dragon Lore? Well, I don't know. There's like a and Dino and there's some odd ones like some kids' tiles. Like there's a Woody Woodpecker game that's really valuable. There's Dino Park Car- Tycoon. I think is mm-hmm. exceedingly valuable. Hmm. And then there's Lucian's Quest. I have copy that, which is <laughs> uh, which is um, really valuable. Thayer's Quest. Uh, no, not complete. Thayer's Quest. Wait. Now, Lucian's Quest is a Japanese RPG. It's called Sword and Sorcery in Japan. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, some of those were probably... Like, yeah, the Japanese tiles, most of those, I think, I think were the ones they were just throwing out on those last few days when they were mm. cleaning their closets. When they were like, everybody grab what you want. And it's like, ah. They had some... some sh- if yeah, they you, were stacked if, up if on If anybody t- had some Korean titles, I, I would love to grab some of those Korean titles because those are really valuable because there just weren't that many made of the... But 3DO had a, had at least, I think, what, like five copies of every title was the whole thing. They had That was like in their contract. They had to have five copies uh, oh, that's right. of every title. Yeah, so they could like ha- have them on the shelf and maybe pass out a couple to or if, I, It's also just a good idea just in case you know something happens. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, oh, this well. has been fun. Well, like my Mickey Watch Pebble says. Yeah. Well, thank you all very kindly for joining us once again. Uh, thanks especially for your patience and the, uh, the the long interval. Our legion of fans. Have uh, yes, all have been. <laughs> both of you have been uh, uh, very, very patient. What it, has happened to you guys? I don't... <laughs> so, they got you, didn't they? This trip has hunted you down. <laughs> no, no. No, the, he's, he's, he's busy dodging the IRS. 
Um, oh, that's why I didn't show up to the party. <laughs> I I heard weird agents there waiting for no, I, I, I'm being sarcastic, but there was a, a, a an article in Ars Technica. Uh, for some strange reason, they profiled trips tax troubles, um, and how well, what not to do when you get a, a, what, a yeah, chunk how, of change. How, yeah, from, how not to, from how, selling your stock. How not to shelter your money from taxes. Yeah, yeah, your your stock from taxes. Um, so. Uh, was Jamie like ready to serve with a subpoena or something? Uh, like no, no. <laughs> Here's a wall. You've been served. <laughs> I'm making ends meet today. <laughs> oh. no, I th- I th- I'm sure Jamie's a wonderful man. He's, 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 he's doing right. very well, I'm sure. Doing, <laughs> doing, doing fairly well as far as I'm aware. It's just... Anyway, well, thank you all very kindly for joining us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.